you could just give us a flavour of how it's been for you today here at the uh, update seminar on the Higgs boson. It, it was really strange, you know, because um, the, the last few weeks have been very, very stressful, and that's not even related to the Higgs boson. I'm not directly involved in searching for the Higgs boson. My job right now is to develop the next generation of detectors that we're going to put in the LHC. But uh, that's something that many people don't know. The work that we're doing is uh, working to very tight schedules. We have a very expensive machine. We have to make best use of it. We're working day and night to make sure we do the best we can with this machine. And, um, well, that is exhausting and a lot of work. And occasionally you lose track of the big picture and then it's a day like this where we all stand in this room and, um, well, just step back for a moment and see that we have actually made a major discovery, a particle that we've been looking for. Not me personally, I wasn't even born when it was predicted, but um, the, the preliminary conclusion of a particle hunt that has gone on for 50 years, half a century, and we actually had to build the biggest machine on the planet in order to get where we are now. And uh, I don't know, this, this was a moment, I think I actually shed a tear or two when, when the announcement was, was made that we were actually having a discovery, that we managed to cross this magic threshold of five sigma, as we call it. So, yes, I mean, of course, reality will hit back very soon and we have to get back to work and work to our tight schedules in order to get everything ready and to continue to make use of this machine and lead on to more precise analyses of what it is that we're seeing here, what else there might be to be discovered. So, it's going to be interesting, but uh, of course also stressful continually. <laughs> You were saying, obviously, about how much is involved in building detectors. Give us a yeah. bit more of a flavour of that, about what you've been going through in the lead-up to this discovery. Well, probably um, because of being involved in building and running the detectors, my involvement actually has an effect with a few years' delay, because I'm building the detectors that then have to run for a few days, uh, days sorry, years, uh, and then uh, only we have enough data that we can actually do the analyses and potentially make a discovery. So my major contribution to uh, finding the Higgs um, as it stands today has been five years back, I think. And I'm hoping that the work that I'm doing right now will lead to further discoveries and possibly five years' time. So the uh, the detectors that we're using, they're just so complex uh, that it takes of the order of 10 years, uh, depending on how uh, newer technology you use, it could be even up to 20 to develop um, the device. And uh, that means you, you really have to look far into the future of where the field is developing and uh, what, what you think uh, will be the primary goal of uh, what you're going to investigate then.